Shalom. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start, we give all honor and glory to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Akashem, Dash. Carline, La, I know Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Akashem, Dash. Okay. My name is Tarzan Makamath, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches the truth and rule well. Okay, now I want to do, um, you know, a little, um, how do I say it? You know, a little, it's a thing that popped in my mind, man, watching this video. And, um, and I thought I'd just share it with y'all brothers that's out there, you know, the hopeful elect, okay, because this is for the elect only, okay? The Lord is coming for his elect, as the scriptures say, all right? But, you know, hearing this message from the brother, um, Seers of Israel, ha, huh? you know, if, if y'all brothers, um, if you don't, you should go subscribe, you know, very edifying, but, um, there's a, there's a thing they have said in this video on their camp, and I thought I'll share it with y'all brothers because, you know, in this truth, we gotta be soldiers, we gotta be super soldiers in this thing, man, the Lord did not call in for weak men, faint-hearted men, he called for he called us to be soldiers, to be kings, to be men, from boys to men, man. Transition us, throwing us in the fire, trying us through trials and tribulations. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna just play this video and um I'm gonna have some precept precepts lined up, you know, to edify to the point where you brothers get the message um of why I'm bringing this out. You know, Lord will this lesson's edifying. All right, so I'm gonna play it. Uh but when you search a best Navy SEAL, this guy pops up, David Goggins. Yeah, that's David Goggins, okay, which is the best Navy SEAL in, um, in America. You know, as they uh, point out in this uh, video, there's no such thing as a woman Navy SEAL, all right? Because the, the tests and trials they do is not for women. It's for men, all right? Which shows you Navy SEALs, they're for men, all right? But the military, they try to throw women in there, man. What shows how weak America is, man. America is weak and effeminate. All right? That's why this nation is going to burn and everybody is going to turn against them. Okay? <laughs> but David Goggins, which you can look it up, research. You know, he was a jake. You know, as they point out in this video, he's a jake. And he was the best Navy SEAL. All right? The best Navy SEAL. So I'm going to play it and um, we'll continue. That's yeah, him. Yeah. That's so this guy pops up, David Goggins. Yeah, that's, that's him. him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. Yep, David. Navy still David Goggins. The tough, he's going to tell us man of love. He was a Jake. What shows you Jake is the salt of the earth. Let's get that. Matthew 5 and 13, ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted, it is therefore good for nothing but be to cast out, and, but, and to be trodden under foot of men. You know, the Lord said we are the salt of the earth. You know, everything we touch, everything we do, anything you put us in, we're going to be the best at cooking, being, playing the best sport. You know, as for example, UFC. You know, UFC was really an Edomite sport. Then they let Jake come in, and we dominated that sport, man. There's nothing but Jake's as title champions. You know, you look at boxing. There's nothing but Jake's. Jake's is the best at boxing, at basketball, at football. You know, anything we do, man, cooking, you know, that's just the name of a couple things, man. You know, we're the best dressed. We, we put anything on, we make it look good, you know. You know, but a heathen put it on and make it look whack. It don't got no, it don't got no flavor to it, man. We know how to match. We know how to, you know, we don't even try to match. We just do it. It's in our spirit, man. All right? You know, we make things look good, man. So the Lord said we are the salt of the earth, man. That's why the Lord said we are a special people, peculiar people. All right?
Oh, so lucky. He was a G. The toughest man alive, U.S. hands down, David Goggins, a G. And you saw the trickery, yeah. when you go straight to images, it's just Edomite showing up. Yeah. When you click on an image, you see there's an American Ultraman, the runner, ultra this cyclist, a triathlete, public speaker. He's a retired United States Navy SEAL, former Air Force Tactical Air Control Party. Yup, 47. And you know, he has an inspirational story. And his whole thing was about pain. In order to get results, he had to go through pain. He in order to get results, you have to go through pain, man. You hear that? In order to get results, you have to get, you have to go through pain. Do we not go through pain in this truth? Do we not suffer in this truth? You know, for in order, not, in order for us to grow, we have to suffer. We have to go through pain. We have to go through trials. We have to go through tribulation. We have to get tested daily we have to get refined we have to be thrown in the fire okay we have to go through pain in this world in this life okay because the lord wants to make us how he wants us to make how he wants to make us in his image we have to get, we have to get burnt of all those affirmities that we had all right but that was a deep thing you know david goggins has said you know I have, you know, let's play it again. Right he has an inspirational story. And his whole thing was about pain. In order to get results, he had to go through pain. You realize In order to get results, you have to go through pain. You know, so for us to see the best, we have, you know, we have to go through pain. For us to see the best in us, we have to go through pain. All right? Even, even before we was in the truth, we was getting, you know, we was getting, you know, beat up you know, spiritually, you know, mentally, but it helped us grow. It helped us learn, you know, and that's what, you know, that's what I take from it, you know. This pain was mandatory. Mm. To get results, he had to go through pain. He realized pain was mandatory. Mm. All right. Pain is mandatory. You have to be uncomfortable to grow. You have to be uncomfortable to grow. You know, but you're not going to, you can't, you, can, you ain't going to grow if you're comfortable because you're not going to go anywhere or, or in order for you to grow. You have to be uncomfortable. All right. You want to see the best in something, put your all into it. You know, Hey, the Lord, Hey man, the Lord put his all, you know, he went through pain daily. You know, let's get that. That's the scripture that pops in my mind. First Corinthians 15 and 31, I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in, which I have in Hamashiach, Yahweh our Lord, I die daily. You know, we die daily, man, in this, you know, in this truth, man. But we, you know, spiritually, we die daily because we're burning that old, that old thing off of us and we're becoming new. Okay, let me uh, do this real quick. You know, we die daily, man. And, but that helps us grow. You know, we get uncomfortable so we can grow. All right. Mandatory, man. Israel. Then, us as a nation, then we go through uncomfortable circumstances, uncomfortable captivities. You know, look at, look at all the captivities we've been through as a nation, man. Even being brought forth as slaves from one land to another. All right? Man, we went through hell, man. But look at us now. A strong nation coming back together through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiel All right? So in order us, for, we have to go through pain to get the best results. That's why the Lord, you know, his elect, they're going to they're gonna suffer. You know, we're going to suffer so we don't, hey, let's get that real quick. Yeah, 
this first Corinthians this first Corinthians 11 and 31 for if we would if we would judge ourselves we should not be judged right so if you know you self-examine you know you self-examine yourself you ain't gonna be judged man because you don't have you don't need nobody to tell you what you already know because you already took account for it and said all right I need you know, I need to do this better, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Alright. Verse 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened of Yahweh Shai. So it says, when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. Alright? And that's a good thing because the uh, the ones the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, as the scriptures say. Okay. But it says that we should not be condemned with the world. Alright, so if the Lord, if the Lord, you know, chastising us and do all that to us now, hey, imagine what the world's gonna get, man. But we're getting, we're getting changed, we're getting burnt up now. We're getting punished now. So, so later, we don't have to, because the Lord has us in His hands. You know, He chastening us, He chastening us, being us. You know, He's helping us get better as a father would, man. Helping us, guiding us. All right, but this world, this world's gonna get a big ass whooping, man. When the Lord comes, when the Lord start putting hell on this earth, people not gonna know what's gonna hit them, man. And that's gonna be their downfall. Okay, so let's play that back a little bit. Mandatory, man. Israel. Has a lot of quotes. I mean, and these quotes, um, the brother's about to bring out, man, they're so inspirational, man. Super inspirational. Wow. Because you can just tell our, our people are spiritual, man. They're so spiritual. Let's let's hear it though. So pain unlocks a secret doorway in the mind. One that leads to both peak performance and beautiful style. Beautiful silence. What do you, what do you say here? Hold on. He said, you are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. Woo! Did you? Man, that is so spot on. Let's play that back. Let's play that back. That was so spiritual. He said, you are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. You're living in a life so comfortable, you won't realize your true potential, man. You're going to die comfortable, man. That's why the Lord said to be on fire. The Lord said to be on fire for him. You don't want to be comfortable. This truth is not about being comfortable and kicking your feet up, man. All right? It's about, you know, being on fire, warning the sheep, man. You know, pleasing the Lord. Okay? I mean, you don't want to die here comfortable, not realizing your true purpose, man. And that's what Jake don't fucking know, man. Jake don't realize their true purpose in this life, man, because they're comfortable, man. They want to be here. They're gonna die not knowing the, the the purpose they have, man. Okay, they're gonna die here, man. Two thirds gotta die. You know why? Because they wanna stay here, man. They wanna they wanna be stuck here, man. They don't wanna change their ways. They don't wanna do nothing, man. They they, they just want things to fall on their lap. All right. But the Lord said, "Hey, man, you you go out there and you preach my word. We just roll and, and warn my people, man." All right, but these people, they're not going to realize their true purpose the Lord has for them. You know, because the Lord don't want to, the Lord doesn't want them. The Lord, the Lord is calling for the elect. Lord willing, we are the hopeful elect that's out there, man. That's hearing this word, man. Because, you know, we're striving for, to be the elect. You know, we're striving to, to uh, obtain salvation. You know, that's what we do this for. 
We're not doing this for no other reason. Okay? Let's play it again. You see? The night. He said, you are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. Mm. You see? Your true potential, man. In order for you to see your true potential, you got to be uncomfortable, man. That's why the Lord puts us through that fire, that furnace of adversity. Okay? And what, hey, hey, that real uncomfortability is going to really come, man. And that's why we got to push our faith. We got to show our faith for the Lord. For Yahweh Bashimi al Shai. Things are about to get real uncomfortable out here, man. Especially in Babylon, which is America. Okay? There's about to be famine. We're about to see martial law. We're about to see, you know, the MOTV. You think we gonna have, you think we got, you think we got something to, you know, to defend that? Nah. We got the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. So the Lord is preparing us ahead of time for what's to come. So that's why the Lord wants us to lean on him, to, to have faith. All right? We know our potential, man. The Lord opened us up to see our true potential, our true purpose. He didn't do that for others. Be blessed. Be thankful. Be grateful. All right? He said, you are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. Mm. You see? Denial is the ultimate comfort zone. Denial is the ultimate comfort zone. Man, wow, man. This man, Jay is snapping, man. Denial is the ultimate comfort zone, man. Wow. Denial is the ultimate comfort zone. He said, don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. When you Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. And that's so spiritual because the beloved brother of Bar, you know, he mentioned that to our camp, man. You know, we were going into steadfast in First Corinthians. You know, don't stop doing the work, be on fire, you know? And that's spiritual, man. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when the job is done, man. And that's the same mindset we got to be in, man, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Hold on. We got to get that, man. We got to, hey, man. Because our will is to do the to do the, uh, the will of Yahweh Shai, which is the will of the Father, man. That's our meat. That's our will to do. Until he comes back, we, we can't stop until the job is finished. All right? Let's get that real quick. Um, as I mentioned it, step fast. Right here. It's 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. And you know, when you go into that word steadfast, you know, it goes into into uh, devoted, you know, loyal, um, consistent. You know, you got to continue doing this work. And it says unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. You know, so everything we doing now for y'all about Shemiel Shai is not in vain. Even though we don't get, um, we don't see it physically. Hey, but it's stored in the heaven for us. You know, where it's kept safe. Where our, where our, our treasure is going to be received. Once we, you know, Lord will, we get beamed up, man. All right. Everything we put on this earth. Everything we do for y'all about Shemiel Shai, we're going to have a reward for it, man. You know, and that's man, that that quote is so beautiful, man. It's so beautiful because that's that's the mindset we have to be, man. Don't stop, don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're the job is done, man. The job is not done. All right, the job is not done. All right, let's get that. Let's get this real quick. Matthews. Matthew 24, 13. It says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. 
We have to endure. We can't we can't get tired. You know, we cannot get tired. No way, shape, or form can we get tired. We have to strive for the long haul. Even if that takes however long, man. We have to wait on Yahweh Bashim Yashad, man, to return. Okay? Well, we have, the Lord said, He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we have to endure it to the end. All right? We have to finish the job. We have to finish the job. You know, and, and part of that is not taking that end time prophecy, which is the Karagma. Okay? That we warn you about in Revelation 13, man. Finish the job, man. Show the Lord how much how much you love him, man. How much you fear him. Okay? Let's play that video back, man. That was heavy. That was super heavy. Denial is the ultimate comfort zone. He said, don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. When you're dead. Hold on. Let's go. He said, don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. When you're dead. All right? You know, and being dead, you know, we don't really die. We just go to sleep. You know? Scripture say the ones that die first in Yahweh Bashim Yashah shall be risen first. All right? So, hey, man, the Lord got something prepared for us, man. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. When the job is done. Okay? When the job is done. Let's, let's play that one more time. He said, don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. When you're dead. All right? What he said? Most wars are won or lost in our own heads, man. Most wars are win or lost in our own heads. Is this not a battle of ourself? The biggest fight in this truth is within yourself. It's within your own mind. Okay, this is a mental battle. This is a spiritual battle, man. Because we're not fighting flesh and blood, man. We're fighting a spiritual warfare, man. And it's within ourselves. You gotta tell yourself da daily, you know, I'm fit. I'm fit for the truth, man. I'm fit for this. I, I, the Lord woke me up. The Lord woke me up to preach His word. You know, to Lord will get saved to to obtain mercy. You know, the Lord woke you up and let you get this truth to obtain mercy, because we're sick, man. And the Lord wanted you to get this truth, man. He see that you were special to him and you're a warrior to him. All right, let's get this. Right here in 2 Timothy 2 and 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shachamashiach. Now, a soldier, since we're talking about a soldier, which is so spiritual because David Goggins is a soldier. For the Navy SEALs, which is the, you know, which is the hardest to get in, okay? But he was the best in his class. Even, even, it goes down in history, he was the best Navy SEAL. How much be the best for Yahweh Bashim Yashai? Scripture say, who's going to rise up for me against the evil doers? All right? We got to be those soldiers, man. But it says, thou, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shammashiach. We got to endure hardness. All the trials, everything we go through, man, we got to endure it, man. A soldier don't give up until the task is finished, man. They don't give up until the, until the task is completed, man. They're not going to stop. They're not going to call the general or the commander in chief. Hey, nah, man, I don't, I don't think we can do it. So uh, we're going to back out. No, man. They got a mission, they got to complete the mission. Okay? And that's the same thing the Lord gave us. Hey, the Lord said, he woke you up. Hey, you're going to preach my word. You're going to do it until I come back. You got to wait until I come back. We don't know when you're coming back. But, hey, you're going to do it until you come, until I come back. To redeem you. To buy us back, man. Okay? That's what the that's what Yahweh Shai said. Okay? 
And that's the same way we got to be, man, that mindset, you know? What do you say? Most wars are won or lost in our own heads, man. You see? And we all know tame pain is just temporary anyway, man. But that glory that we're going to get is everlasting. Man. Wow. Okay, let's get that. This thing in Corinthians, this thing in Corinthians 4 and 17, this is, it says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. All right. You know, we're going through a light affliction right now. You know, this Lord said, hey, what you're going through is light. But it works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. All right. So the things we're going through now, hey, man, it's going to make us better at the end. Once we realize everything we went through is, is to make us better. That's the Lord's main thing. To make us better. To make us kings. To have that, that men mindset. The king mindset. You know? I don't know. Tame pain is just temporary anyway, man. But that glory that we're going to get is everlasting. Man. So that's what the Bible tells you what? You got to suffer. Are you read this preset? Fine. Hey, just like the brother said, we got to suffer, which I was been pointing out this whole time in this lesson, man. We got to suffer. We got to go through it, man. You know, weak men can and can't and cannot. Weak men cannot endure suffering, man. Weak men cannot endure suffering. All right? This is for the strong men. A strong minded man, even though we might go through hardships, hey, but you're strong, man. Hey, the Lord said, When you're a weak, I am strong, man. Let's get that real quick. I don't want to butcher it. Let's get that. The second Corinthians 12 and 9, and he said, My grace. Is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Okay? My strength is made perfect in weakness. So when we're out of low, when we're going through the most, hey, the Lord is, showing, is going to show his strength through you, man. Show how much the Lord can come through for you and to help you. And that's, you know, that's the main thing I want to share with y'all brothers, man. And Lord, will this lesson been edifying. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, Ba'ashim Rekatadash. Till next time I say Shalom.